Good bird. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Yeah, good job. Last one, last one. Over here. Come on, come on. Good bird. You're such a good bird. This is the face of a boy who chased hogs today. Huh. He has cacti needles in his nose. Hey buddy, look here. Is that hurting you? That looks painful. Can I help you get them out? That was quite difficult, but with the help of my dad, we took off all this trim down here. And the kit that I got from Ford has all this new trim, so I'm gonna put this stuff back on. And I think the reason why they have this different trim is because it's a little shorter and not as wide, so it helps with the running board, I guess, so that you have more room to step on it. And the puppies are helping me today, huh? This is the state of the van right now. I'm not even sleeping in the van right now as we're doing the airbags and stuff because it's just such a mess every day. So I've been sleeping at, in the guest room at my parents' house. But today I also had this window installed. It has a screen over here. That way I can open it and get some airflow inside, which is really nice.
Okay, so right now I have the shelves in and I'm brainstorming Zeus's birdcage, which is gonna go right here. That's why I have this tray, because I'm thinking about keeping this cooking tray as some sort of seed catcher, but I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. Right now, I've just drawn blueprints for it, basically. I think I'm gonna have a big door with some acrylic. I bought at Lowe's the other day acrylic. Acrylic, I have stainless steel mesh on the sides and the top and possibly the bottom. The stainless steel mesh I got off Amazon. It was recommended by someone who commented on my YouTube video, so thank you. I ended up getting that. It's one inch uh, openings and then I ordered these hinges um, on Amazon as well. So I'm gonna have these hinges in and yeah. When I took everything out, there was a trim piece here that was interfering with the cage and the cage wasn't going to be able to go up exactly. So this is the trim piece, and what I ended up doing is I actually just cut it off. I took it off and I cut it off. So because I cut it, it's kind of, I don't know, there's a bunch of things. So right now I'm just sanding the edges with like different random tools and sandpaper and stuff, and then I'm gonna reinstall that and begin building the cage. Quiet sand and deep blue waves We were running up the shore Sun glints on sparkling Okay, so that's how the trim looks. I don't think it looks that bad. I feel like I should have sanded a little further back, but whatever. To be young To be young Where's your sleeves, leaves floating on down the street My job, my house, my car, my whole social scene So high are the stakes, every move we make Sends us down, down, down in that street Here in the only life I know But summer days were shot like worn out from my lungs It's just the way the story goes So this is what I have on the birdcage already. He's already pooped in it right now. Um, I have this tray in the bottom. I have the mesh so that his poop can go through in the tray like it just did. I have this side which has mesh. I have this side which has acrylic so that his mess doesn't get in the van. And same with the back. And then the hinge is gonna be right here. So right now I have this clamped because I'm drilling some screws in the side to put these together and this is where the drawer is going to hinge from. The door, sorry. <laughs> So I have all of these wood panels that I cut, and I cut them in V's. I cut with the table saw about a half inch into the wood, a half inch to three fourths of an inch. And then I inset the acrylic or the wire, or whatever I do. So I'm gonna build the front door of the cage right now, and I'm gonna do that with acrylic. So I'm using this acrylic sheet. I got three of these, three of these sheets from Lowe's. I think they were about like 14 bucks each. I actually totaled the cost of this cage and it was going to be, and it, it adds up to about like 170 bucks more or less, but I bought a bunch of stainless steel wire mesh and I only used very little of it. So the rest of it, my dad's just gonna have for like any projects. But it's crazy because if you go online and you try to find a bird cage, especially a custom built one like this, the quotes I was getting when I reached out to people was, 
um, I got a quote for like about a thousand dollars. It started at nine hundred dollars, and then if there was a seed catcher, it was a two hundred dollar add-on, and all this crazy stuff. So, yeah, I'm really happy that I could build this. Right now, I'm just lining up the frame and measuring everything out so that I can cut the acrylic to size. I'm gonna add a half inch onto both sides. So it's 20 inches by about 17 inches. So I'm gonna write that down. I guess I don't really have to write that down. I can just sharpie it on here. I'm gonna put a square up to this so that I can make sure the lines are straight when I draw them. Now I'm gonna use this tool I don't know what this tool is called. It smells really bad when you do this. You know what this smells like? When I was in high school for like prom and home homecoming and different dances like this, I would go with my friends and get acrylic fake nails, which were terrible and I hated them. But that's what this smells like. It really smells like acrylic fake nails. Why does this not look square? This is honestly like the worst piece of acrylic I've cut. I made a lot of mistakes, but I think that the mistakes I made are so close to the edge that hopefully the wood will just cover it up. But I just brought Zeus out here and kind of let him play around on the wood and um, the cage. And I did a couple tests with him to see if he would like to chew the wood. So he did like to chew the wood when there was like a, it was thin enough for him to grasp. So I'm really hoping he doesn't chew the wood in his cage. It is really hard wood, and I am gonna have wood toys for him to chew on that are softer wood, so I'm hoping that he'll just choose to chew on that instead of this, but we'll see, and I will like adapt as it goes and see if I can figure out any solutions to the problems I have as they arise. I always loved doing this when I got like a piece of technology or something, like, let's see how long this clean piece of glass lasts. Oh, and if you can see in, in the van behind me that this is the progress I have on the van. I have all the upper cabinets installed. I have all the doors cut for the upper cabinets. All I need to do is buy hinges at Lowe's and then install that and paint that. And then I still have a water filter to install and I still have a back drawer to build in the back. But yeah, I think that's basically everything I have to do, and then just small stuff, and then get all my things together, and then go and hit the road, I'm so excited. Okay, here is Zeus's cage, I've done a little more work on it. I am using his uh, feeder. This is the bowl he has in his cage here, and I'm just reusing it. This is a perch he had the entire time we've had him. We basically got this perch when we got him. So I'm just reusing that. I had to cut off the bottom to get it to fit, but honestly it fits pretty perfectly. And then the only other thing that didn't fit was this big perch that's going down there. So right now I'm kind of sanding it because I'm going to screw it in over here. I think what I'm thinking is doing it down here and getting it to be flush over here. That way I can have some anchor points. I don't really know though, but I'm sanding it down so that it can be a little more flat on this side.
yummy juice. Yum, yum. So I got Zeus in his harness. This is his second time and he's doing super good. I realized that the key for Zeus was actually using the outdoors as positive reinforcement. Before when I was trying to train him to use the harness, I was using treats and that worked pretty well using seeds and nuts and stuff that he liked but ultimately he loves the outdoors so yeah what I would do is I would get his little head through the neck hole and then I'd bring him immediately outdoors so he could start associating the harness with the outdoors which he loves Charlie went to the vet the other day didn't you we found out that Charlie has arthritis so we got her some like medicine and she's actually doing really good her legs and her walking looks better yeah 